The Triumph Bobber. What does an already great looking, very successful, well received motorcycle need? It needs to be more edgy. So what do those dandy old Englishmen over at Triumph decide to do about this? Well, they did exactly what you did when you wanted to be more edgy. You read a George Orwell book, jammed out at some Sabbaths and sewed some GG Allen patches to your bomber jacket. Triumph understood this philosophy and they built this new bike around it and they named it the Bobber Black. Kinda weird if they named it something else. The 2019 Triumph Bobber Brown. So then, is this new bike a true rebel that rides as good as it looks? Or does it just smoke in front of its friends to look cool? Let's find out. Well, crack it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hammy Moto again after a long absence. Excuse that, I'm uh, sorry, Trump hired me for Space Force, so I've been up in Mars, you know, fighting Russians and shit. They weren't anything difficult to deal with, it was like playing Call of Duty on easy. So then today I'm test riding the beautiful, the stunning, the extremely black, Triumph, wonderful, bomber, black. I love the alliteration in the title. This motorcycle has been loaned to me by the awesome people over at Douglas Motorcycles in San Bernardino. Over the next few months I'm going to be collaborating with Douglas Motorcycles, they're going to let me test drive the 2019 Triumphs and some of the Zeros. Go ahead and check out their website. Follow them on Instagram and uh, tell them Hammy sent you. So then the 2018 Triumph Bobber Black. This is Triumph's best-selling motorcycle and it's really not difficult to see why. It is a perfect example of retro styling mixed with modern technology. Now a few key features that separate the black from the ordinary Bobber are a 19-inch fatter front tire, dual disc Brembo brakes, and all that was once chrome is now glorious black. It also comes with this really neat looking uh, daytime LED light on front very nice styling touch and the guys over at Douglas Motorcycles put some aftermarket handlebars on there. The standard ones are a little bit shorter. And also this bike has a really simple to use cruise control. So I could do this entire episode in sign language or gang signs. Now when it comes to aesthetics, the Bobber Black is basically the ordinary Bobber that's going through an emo phase, which is by no means a bad thing. As a matter of fact, I like to think that the overall design for the Bobber was purely designed to confuse people, because most people and even some bikers probably won't be able to tell that this bike is from 2018. Okay, so take the Bobber's main competitor for instance, the Indian Bobber. That bike looks quite modern. The Bobber and the Bobber Black seem to be much more dedicated to the 40s styling it's drawing itself from. The engine aesthetic, for example, looks brilliant. It's a fuel injected and liquid called engine but it looks like it's air cooled and carbureted but the aesthetics of the engine is not the only good thing about it the performance is even better now the first thing you notice about this bike apart from it being very black is the engine it is fantastic <laughs> Now I know pretty much every bike I test ride I say it's brilliant, but this engine really deserves as much love as it can get. The 1200cc Bonneville engine in the black is just a superb creation. It really cracks the whip on its 78 horses and the acceleration alone is just exhilarating. It's not just low down the RPMs like other twins, it's very rev happy. And there's also a slick 6 speed transmission so the party just keeps on going. The engine really is just outstanding, there's so much low down torque, it feels like a naked bike. A couple of other noticeable features is the seat. A lot of manufacturers don't care about the seat at all. The Triumph got the perfect seat to cup your buttocks. It's like the seat is giving your ass a nice big hug. Now for a motorcycle that weighs over 500 pounds, it's playful as hell. It's incredible. A bike like this shouldn't behave like that. It's like that fat guy that's really famous for dancing. I mean, how does he do that? How is this bike doing this? Oh, a cop staring at me. Hey, even he likes to try it. Like this? Yeah, for well, sure. Another great thing about owning this bike, or pretty much any other Triumph, is that they come with a lot of genuine aftermarket parts. It's like customizing a vehicle from Need for Speed Underground. I don't know how big this tank is. How much do I put in there? Tell you what, guys, over this past weekend, I got what I like to call a flash flood illness. So Friday, I was, you know, getting a little bit of chest congestion, slight bit of a headache. Uh, the next day, I was basically dead six feet under in a coffin. And then Sunday, I was resurrected by Jesus himself. It was just... God, God, I got sick. Another thing I've noticed about this Triumph is that there's Triumph literally written everywhere on this bike. I went to a Triumph dealership to buy this Triumph. I know it's a Triumph! You definitely cannot confuse this thing for a Hamilton toaster. Okay, great. Yeah, that's, I should have asked how to, how to open this. Guys, I figured it out. Oh, God, I'm good at this. I figured it out. I did it. Yeah. yeah! So I'm gonna take this thing up into some twisties and I'm gonna see how it handles. Oh, lots of gravel on the road. That's great. I can't wait to low side and hurl myself off this cliff and then slide under another semi truck. 
So I just finished up carving some of these canyons right here and man, this is such a capable machine. It's just, it compliments you, compliments your ego. Yes, you're a great writer. Yes, you're very good. You're much bigger than my ex-boyfriend. It fills you with that kind of confidence, you know what I mean? The handling, that was probably the biggest surprise of all. Tribe did not have to make this a good handling bike. The looks and the engine alone would have made this thing sound like hentai at Comic-Con. For a bike that seemingly wasn't designed for performance, it really feels like it was. Even the somewhat missionary riding position does a good job at suiting aggressive riding. And thanks to its wide and consistent power range, you can keep the shifting to a minimum. So it takes little to no effort if you want to bounce between cruising and hooliganing. The Brembo brakes as well are a welcome feature and they do a fantastic job at being brakes, as well as coming with ABS. I can 110% see why this is Triumph's best-selling motorcycle. So then before we end off this test ride, let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about the Triumph Bobber Black. So basically everything Triumph set out to do with the Black, they really nailed. They wanted to make a more performance-focused version of the Bobber, and they, they just nailed it on the head. Even though this bike is going to be mostly bought by men that look like they model in Dress for Men commercials, I really do think this bike should be carefully looked at by any rider that wants a slick street bike to cruise around with. So then what did I not like? The suspension does a great job at handling, but, but, but nothing else. The monoshock in the rear really does kind of hand the job off to absorbing shock to your spine, and that gets very tiresome after five minutes or so. But the biggest drawback to the Triumph in my position is the fuel mileage. Triumph claims to get 54 to the gallon, which is of course a massive overshoot to what it actually gets. I'm guessing, depending on how throttle happy you are, you'd be looking around 38 to 45. Again, that, that all depends on how, we, how you ride it, but that's pretty much the average range you'll get. Now for most twins that's reasonably average, um, but where the biggest drawback is with the tank size, it's only 2.5 gallons. So when you do buy this bike, be prepared to spend plenty of time at the gas station with men asking you what year the bike is. So there you go, if you're looking for a motorcycle that is perfectly suitable for riding to obscure cafes and local breweries, the Triumph Bobber Black is the one for you. Huge thanks again to the guys over at Douglas Motorcycles for letting me test ride their bike for the day. It was very kind for them to let me throw that thing around the mean streets of San Bernardino, dodging between homeless people and various junkies. Dude, sweet Huffy, if a bee had knees, this would, would be it. All right, and then you bunch of scalywags. Thank you all so much for watching this week's video. Hopefully I will see you all soon for another test ride review. See you next time.